from the Department of Library and Information Science from Manan Maniam Sundara University, Trunalveli. In this video, we are going to see how to import patterns in a batch in Koha ILS in an easy manner. So, click on the Tools module on Koha's homepage. There are three types of tools available. One is Pattern and Circulation, then Catalog then additional tools so on patterns and circulation click on import patterns okay here on your right side there is an option download a starter CSV file CSV means comma separated value file so just click on that link Okay, I'm downloading this file. I have downloaded this file already, so that's why I cancelled. So this is the file which I have downloaded earlier. Okay, there are a number of fields which are essential for adding in pattern in Koha LS. So don't make any changes in that fields if the title changes um, that may be an error so don't change the titles leave the fields as it is there are more and more fields if the field is not used just leave it as it is don't make any changes i'm repeating you guys okay now we are getting into the process start to fill all the details first of all it is code number we have to fill the code number key zero 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 one yeah this is the one of the problems which we would occur when we fill the details in csv file or in excel sheet the zero value wouldn't add up. so that's for that we have to enter a apostrophe before zero then only the value would be appeared as it is otherwise the zero wouldn't show up in this format so whenever the zero comes first use an apostrophe before that mm -hmm. Okay, city details now entering my email address abc at gmail.com just for an example okay it's shown as a link so I'm just clicking on that and remove hyperlink okay now it's shown as a text then I'm entering the phone number the 10 digit phone number the 10 digit numbers wouldn't shown so that's why I'm adding an apostrophe before that okay now it wasn't changed if I haven't added it would be changed like this so that's why I'm using an apostrophe before the mobile number then the important field is date of birth now i am entering the date of birth in a format um, year hyphen month 02 for february hyphen date 02 denotes the date okay so this is the format which which can be acceptable by the koha ILS. other formats cannot be accepted uh, if you use any other formats that may be an error while you uploading the file so please remember this point okay category code so RS means a research scholar the category code denotes the pattern category then sex so male so 
the pattern is male okay likewise you you can add details of your patterns that is no need to fill every fields in this file only fill the fields which are necessary according to your use okay so i have entered a patterns detail mm. so i have already have the details of 10 mem 11 members uh, sorry 10 members in my library so i have entered their details so these are the fields which i have filled for the for importing patterns now go to file and click save option and name you can edit the name of your file okay i'm just adding escape after that and okay and click save i'm choosing the location okay. i have picked downloads as my location and save so this is the important thing which we um we have to save this file in a text csv format so this format only this is the format only acceptable by the koha software okay so we have to uh, now come back to the import patterns and we have to select the file which we have saved okay okay now we can see the file click open and now we have selected the file for importing and there is an option which is create pattern list list names will be the name with timestamp then field to use for record mod matching so leave these fields as it is there is no need to choose anything okay now click import option click import okay so we have successfully imported 10 records so there are 10 members record have been added into the koha ls if there are any errors it would shown so there is no error we have successfully added the pattern details yes there is no there is zero overwritten zero not imported zero not imported 10 records passed okay so now i am just verifying the re verifying my process by searching a pattern number which i have entered in the csv file okay now i am searching yes so we have successfully imported the 10 members details in koha ILS with a easy manner through a csv file so i'm taking another number yes it also exists so we have successfully done this process thank you for watching until the next video this is silokmon signing off keep watching bye bye